Welcome back everybody to our first round of doubles here at the 2023 Golden State Open here in Pleasanton, California. Got Richard Ice Eisman on the mic with Carrie Whitmire. Reitmeyer. Reitmeyer. But, you know, close enough. From it's the great okay. state of? Nebraska. Is it great, though? It That's is. the question. It okay. is. You bet. How's your football team doing these oh, days? Oh, stop it. Okay, Let's we'll get the racquetball. Volleyball. <laughs> volleyball won this morning. We don't, we don't talk volleyball. Oh, we definitely <laughs> like volleyball. Okay, so we got uh, uh, Wayne Anton and Bobby Horn versus DLR and... Uh, Landa, nice start by Barbie with a rollout splat to the left corner. <laughs> we'll start that out nice. You know, and this is Bobby's, uh, it might be his fourth game today. Um, I for sure have watched two, and I feel like there was another one in between there. So He has played two singles, one doubles, and this is his fourth doubles. There, yep. there we go. I yep. thought it was. So she's been around the club watching Bobby play. And that's right. You know, he's... Uh, fun to see on the court and, and he's been away from it for just long enough that if you you know weren't involved 15 years ago when the WRT was around you may not know who David Horn is that's right so I know him as Bobby he's become a good friend over the years and um, he's he's a lot of fun to watch a lot of antics it's uh it's good to see him back on the court for sure he's got such immense talent uh Set. His body's a challenge for him, it yeah. seems like, you know. He puts a lot of effort into the game, and so uh, a lot of times you'll see he's injured or whatnot, but uh, he looks to be in pretty good shape this weekend playing, so we're glad that he's back out playing. Yeah, he, um, you know, he moves smooth and shoots uh, confidently. And yeah, it's been fun. Been fun to watch, and like I said, a little antiquated or uh, animated sometimes, but let's see if we can get a score here. Yeah, we got it right here. Uh, two, one. Daniel and Landa, Daniel De La Rosa and Landa serving two, one. Two, two now. Carrie, you've been watching many of the matches on the glass court today? Uh, yeah, quite a few, actually. So you'll see a big difference in the ball speed in the glass court. I've been talking about it all day. The black ball on here, the floors aren't as sturdy as a regular court. The ball hits the glass wall, it kind of slows down. You'll very rarely see balls come off and wrap off the back wall very just rarely. because of the ball and the court structure. Yeah, and I'm telling, uh, you know, I talked with Cole Sendry after his match against Conrado just now. And anybody that serves at Z serve up into that upper right hand corner is really um, having a, the receivers having a hard time picking that off that corner where you can see it's the black ball against the black side. And so uh, he was trying to use that to his advantage yeah. when he was playing Conrado. So Bobby and Wayne, you know, they're going to have to play really a high level match. It's playing the number two seed, De La Rosa. And Landa, they got a lot of experience, and that's definitely a avoidable hinder if, there. For sure, you saw Bobby turn, <laughs> yeah. never even, never even paused. Yeah. And that's that's nice to see sometimes too, and especially for people watching that aren't at this level to see yep. what an avoidable looks like and really what you should do. And I we say avoidable; it's supposed to be a penalty. penalty hinder, right? But I wish you know some of you at home take that and realize when you are in the way, it's your fault. Right. Just take it and move on. Instead and of everything having to be replayed. And, and, and another thing on that, uh, Carrie, if you play rec play during the week and that happens, you should play that. So when you get in a tournament, you're used to it. I 100% agree you know? with you. It's, it, is what the, it is what it is. And so why should you be bailed out rec play or tournament play on a bad positioning? You know, we must have missed something the crowd really loved. But I'm going to just say one more thing on that as well. You wouldn't do that with any other play. If it's short serves, you're not going to play short serves just because you're in rec play. Right. No, if it serves short, it serves short. We need to, to play them that just way. Play it. Just play it. Yep. Yeah. Give so us a score update. It is 6-2, De La Rosa, Atlanta. Off to a nice, fast start. Yeah. We're at 7-2. They look like they're feeling good. and Daniel's so good on the left side. Yeah. Oh. 
Yeah, tough. that one's a little tougher. And again, rec play, you can play that one again too if you want. But it's uh, he was right there, right where the ball came back to. Skip ball. Two ten. That uh, yeah, creeped up there right quick, didn't it? Ooh, scoreboard has seven two. Yeah, we'll get that straight, folks. Oh yep. Sorry, uh, I heard him say two ten. Now maybe maybe I heard the ref wrong, but yeah, it sounds like three serving ten. Unless he said seven. Yeah, sorry. We're not right behind the courts where we typically are, so we're off to the side a little bit. People walking around. We can't hear the ref perfectly. So. So, Natera, who's the ref, has, yeah. has the digital pad. Oh. He has the digital pad that he he's the one who's changing the score. So, so maybe whatever he's changing, you're seeing on the IRT feed here. Some good communication. Last two rallies nice between. Wayne and, and Bobby, real good communication, letting each other know what. It sounds to me as 410. That's what I'm hearing. Scoreboard shows 47. I'm glad I'm not the only one. There. If there's a timeout, I'll run up to Allen and see what it is. Okay. Uh, but right now, uh, I'm hearing 410. So for uh, maybe some people that don't know or are just joining us today, whichever, Bobby Horn uh, had a very big part in bringing uh, this whole tournament, the glass court, to this club. This is a club he teaches juniors in. He teaches pickleball in. He's been a member here for, I think he said, about 10, 11 years, something like that. So pretty, pretty impressive to uh, be playing at this high level after just you know spending literally months putting together a tournament like this. Look at that dive and up job, quick. Amanda. Oh, and then a behind the back. Good job by Landon. That was a nice the rally. The crowd play. likes that. Yeah, great play. Yeah. So yeah, Bobby and Adam, Team Bobby, Team Adam, mm -hmm. been working on this. Communication has been outstanding on social media throughout the previous months. They did a really good job. Sold out. So yes. close it off. So that's awesome for racquetball. We got to thank KWM Gutterman Keith Miner getting the court out here from Chicago, and not only for this tournament, but for what he's done for racquetball around the country. So and we appreciate I, that. And you know, uh, JMB also huge sponsor of this tournament. You know, he even uh, had some yeah. of his employees out here helping put the court together. So can you? Uh, uh, kind of give a little bit more information about uh, JMB, what it stands for and I, what he does? You know does. what? I don't know what it stands for, but he is a um, uh, asparagus a farmer. Okay. A, a producer and, and, yeah, and I think, uh, oh, I hate to get it wrong, I think like the biggest in California. And he's just, you know, really good good friends and good fans of Bobby and Adam. Oh, and great. He sponsored last year's too. At okay. The, there was, this is the second Golden State Open in the last two years, and he great. sponsored it last year, too. Yeah, great, great guy, really nice. Thanks for that. Well, thank you for JMB for his sponsorship, being on the tournament logo on the front wall. So always need those type of sponsors, and we appreciate that. We are at 10-6, Carrie. Does your score reflect that My now? score does reflect that. Oh, okay. And so <laughs> we are happy in the broadcast booth right. that we are – Dialed in on 10, so. People can quit wondering, what <laughs> are they talking about? Yes. Are they watching the same game we are? This they has been a really fast-paced game, too. You know, there's there, guys are getting in, they're serving the ball, the rallies are happening fast, there's no, you know, sometimes the guy as well, and now I say that, and Wayne does this, but, yep. you know, they've been very, it's been a very fast game, fast-paced game. So what are you thinking about tomorrow's quarterfinal singles here in this okay. this uh, glass court area? Do you think it's going to be a little ruckus? Uh, do you want to tell me who it is? Uh, I don't think we're there yet okay, because we've got 16s like, in the morning. Yeah, I was like, oh, did I miss something already? No. Um, yeah. Uh, there's uh, The competition is outstanding. It just has really been 
uh, outstanding. Uh, and the amount of pro players that are here and the level. And then, to, you know, just for example, to see Bobby come kind of back. Bobby hasn't been playing a lot of mm -hmm. tournaments, so it's fun to see him, I'll say, quote, unquote, back. Here's uh, Rob Sabo that's telling us that we ship over 4 million cases of asparagus every year. Thank you. Thank you for clarifying that. I'm sorry. I didn't know better. Yep. So we appreciate that as a sponsorship and hope that your business continues to thrive. Yeah. So thank you for that. Yes. Racquetball players are a grateful group, and, and again, we really, really appreciate it. And, you, you know, you, we were talking about that earlier, I guess. I can't remember if it was on camera or not, but you see those ceiling balls that, you know, most of us are used to if you're playing with uh, a different ball and a different court surface. Those ceiling balls typically come off. Oh, uh, Daniel with the backhand flip. Typical Daniel De La yeah. Rosa shot. But, yeah, that ball comes off a little differently, doesn't, you know, if you think you're going to wait for it off the back wall on a ceiling, it's not going to happen. Not here. Nope. Not going to happen. Unless they, like, really hit it a ton, which I've seen some guys take full swings and still not get it off the yeah. back wall. So, And also, like I was saying earlier, Passes can be three or four inches up on the side glass wall, and when it hits the glass, uh, coming back, it's dying. Yep. It's, yep. it's not coming off the back wall. Uh, so, um, And, you know, that affects a lot of things. It affects your racket prop where you're contacting your the ball. Work. It affects your footwork when yep. you're back here thinking this is where it's going to be. Now all of a sudden you're striking it out in front of you. Your footwork was off a little bit. Yep. So it's just, you know, it's an adjustment. Yep. Unless... You're a veteran player that's played on this court in the past. Yeah, and you know, and these guys have gotten more experience to do, you know, so by now that, you know, it's not an excuse or, uh, you know, a reason anymore because they've certainly had the opportunity. Oh, uh, my gosh. Well, we saw it at the backhand. Now we just saw the forehand. Yes. Sick overhead to the left corner by Daniel. Skip ball by Wayne. Oh. Timeout. So we're going to get take a one minute timeout and we'll be back when play resumes. Welcome back, folks. We are here in Pleasanton, California for the 2023 Golden State Racquetball Open. I got Carrie, and I'm going to let her say her last name. Reitmeyer. Whit Whitmeyer. Reitmeyer. Yeah, Reitmeyer. You can just say Carrie. That's good. Carrie from Nebraska there is on go. the mic with me. Yeah, that's right. We're giving Fabio a little break, but he's still running the board. We appreciate everything he's done. I have to tell you, folks, I thoroughly enjoyed my time being on the mic with the IRT broadcast today. It's been a lot of fun. And hopefully I will be back here tomorrow. I'm planning on it. Uh, They're calling a side out. I'm not exactly sure what just happened there. But nobody seemed to argue it. Sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt no, you, but you're I was good. just trying to see what. But, yeah, everybody took their perspective places. It's a good shot by Daniel there. Yep. Again, we are at game point now. Nope, I'm sorry. We're at 13-7. I don't think, yeah, I don't think he's getting that. Another great example of the ball being high on the right. left and just not coming right. off the back. Uh, he is, uh, you know, the number two player in the world right now, but he's still not getting that ball either, Act so. Yep. Actually, he's number one on the RT after the okay. rankings just came out. Oh, thank you. Yep. Little. Oh. oh. All right, Bobby's fired up. Here we go. I, yeah, I think 
like, uh, sounded like 14 to me, but could be 8, 13. 14. Nice. nice by Wayne. Yeah, really nice exchange uh, between both teams. That was uh, in good movement. I don't know if everybody saw that. Daniel found himself up on the upper right, so Landa came back around to the back left. And, uh, you know, that's how real doubles teamwork works or yep, should good, work. Great covering. Yep. Got a little towel time out here. And uh, does that give them, I can't, just so you know, two people, I don't have the screen in front of me. So does that give them nine? They are at nine. Okay, so yep. yeah. Nine, 14. Ooh, that was shot around his partner. That was good. Oh. Uh. Yeah, they're going to replay that. Uh, there was a lot of traffic there, but they're thinking he held up for Wayne. There again, good coverage. Good get by Wayne. Uh, <laughs> there's the Bobby Horn we know. Right? <laughs> yes. But uh, a good pass down the right, you know, again, tough to track that down unless you're over there. I think if I heard right too, this is the last match on this court tonight. Does that sound about right? No, we have one more after this. Oh, we this. do, yes. okay. Um, I'm not sure who's up next. Okay. Um, Rocky and Alvaro were supposed to play this time slot uh, versus a team from Guatemala. And they may be pushed back and do that because Rocky just finished a singles match. Oh. So. At there. the game break, we'll We'll confirm with Fabio on who's coming up next, but sure. we should have one more doubles match tonight. All right. Yeah, Bobby and uh, Wayne are, are not going away. They're firing each other up and. A back, around the back Z, unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> Don't try that at home. Nice, Daniel. Oh. Yep. Oh, okay, no, yeah. yeah. Yep. My view was blocked there. I couldn't tell. I saw him go for it, but I couldn't tell if he got it or not. So, their opportunity. First game, uh, game point opportunity here. Hey, that's a nice comeback, you know, to get back into double digits here. Yep. Yeah, Bobby knows he missed a couple opportunities on the left. They were really high. He was trying to get it straight down the line. If it was lower, it may not come off the back wall, but definitely was too high. Yeah, and you know, one of the things I play strictly doubles now um, and have for quite some time, but I just really love it when the when partners play so well together and it just, you don't necessarily need to talk. It's You need right. to talk sometimes, but it's nice when you don't. One switches, you go over, and we've seen some really nice coverage. Yep. Yes, mm -hmm. coverage, doubles, team, teamwork. So so Daniel, La Daniel, Daniel, and, and uh, DLR and, and Landa have, have some history together too. So, you know, great shot by Wayne. Uh, serve and and good shot down there the right we go side. Again. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, they are not giving up. The crowd loves it. I mentioned Bobby's the home home. Uh, homeboy here this is his court uh club i should say not his court so they like watching him play oh called avoidable hinder a penalty hinder on on land on that uh eisman what do you think uh -oh. i don't i don't hate that i really don't he was tracking he's, he's the ball a, he's gonna get a technical here a oh, warning he was tracking the ball alex was in his way i i don't hate that call
A lot going on here, folks. Right. Trying to figure it out. So they're going to second serve because with uh, the ref talking to Landa, he did not get a chance to call the serve, and Wayne served it. So now here's the second serve. What a rally. Good oh, get by and Bobby. A great get by Bobby Horn. I Oh, they called it good. Oh, oh. wow. Wow. Landon's got to be careful. He's been out of the that's twice he's been out there with Natera. It's 12-14. No line judges, so they're playing through. You got to play. Boy, what a rally. <laughs> I hope you all got to watch that, though, because just some serious play. And, I, and now that there's kind of a – and I, Alex is still arguing there. Um, you got to see a little of the pickleball come through with Daniel. The first part of that rally, he was poked up front and just uh, dropping those shots. But Wayne and Bobby each were getting them, and it ended up working out uh, in their favor. Yeah, these guys, uh, DLR and Landon need to get put the ball away and get out. But that's been a valiant comeback by Wayne and Bobby. Their hands have been great, and their retrieving has been awesome. Yeah. Oh, that's tough. Tough. That's a good jam right straight in to Bobby yep. with a little bit of height. So, you know, he's down below trying to Just prepare, was going to say that. <laughs> I totally was going to say that. Yeah, yep. it, uh, Daniel didn't kill it. He kind of shot it right back at his knees, and Bobby wasn't ready for that. All right. Threw, well. a hard, threw, threw a round the world Z on him right there and kind of got uh, Wayne back in the back right corner. Okay, this has got to be their third time in serving At the least 14. Third, yep. You know. Oh, there it is. And that is game number one. Racket what a it looked like the racket turned in his hand. It on did, that, so. right? It did, so, yep. Okay, well, that's game one. We'll take a two minute break and we'll be back when play resumes. I played a lot of matches when I was playing the WRC with the gearbox ball. It's a different ball than the other one. I think it's better for the game. It's durable. I think for fans it's going to be more enjoyable. The rallies are going to be a little longer. So it's going to be fun. My name is Andre Parrilla and I play with Gearbox. I love about Gearbox that everyone's, uh, everyone's part of the family and uh, they have the best equipment in a great sport. Dedication makes a great athlete, obviously talent and passion. One of my beliefs is that, is that we're capable of doing a lot of things that we cannot even imagine. It's just part of uh, enjoying the process and then gets hi this is john chriswell welcome to manufacturing marvels today we're in rockdale illinois
Okay, all, thank you for being with us. We're back at the 2023 Golden State Open here in Pleasanton, California with my broadcast partner, Carrie. Right, Meyer. Thank From you. From Omaha. From Omaha, Nebraska. That's right. We're on game two. We've uh, got uh, four of us playing from Nebraska this time. I brought some friends and nice. family with Thanks me. Thanks for making so. the trip out. Yeah. Uh, following this match, we got uh, Galicia and Salvatera from Guatemala versus Rocky Carson Alvaro Beltrain uh, following this match. So I just want to make sure everybody was aware of that. Rocky had a singles match earlier that he's supposed to be playing at this time slot. We pushed him back one hour to give him some rest. He'll be following that. And that should be the final broadcast of the night. And I was texting some people back in Nebraska and my little guy I coach, Lucas, his mom said, you know, he's got to go to bed. I went, oh, I forgot that it's two hours later. Yes, there. it is. So, Lucas, you'll get to watch this tomorrow. So a quick start for DLR and Landa getting out. Of, uh, I'm sure they don't want to get in a the situation they had last time. Got to say, gallant effort by Bobby and Wayne to get back in that second game, that first game uh, at a 15-12 first game. Yeah, and you know, Alex and uh, Daniel started out pretty strong. I feel like I remember it being like 7-2 to two maybe. Yes. So they started out pretty strong, and, and Wayne and Bobby just kept on pushing, kept on shooting. That's right. Beautiful. Good shot by Bobby yeah, Horn. Yeah, real pretty. These guys are hitting it a ton. Silly bars are, I mean, they're taking like some really full swings on it. Nice, Daniel, yeah. rough corner pinch. If you know Daniel's game, you know that's Daniel's shot. He's comfortable with that's that backhand, cool. man. He loves it. What happened there? Uh, was, I think he served before the score, okay. score was called. A little anxious. You said they were playing fast, Carrie. Right? They are correct. <laughs> That's right. They're ready to go. Oh. Okay. If you're looking for Landis to hold up, he's not holding up. He's going to get his swings and shots. So just be aware of that, folks, as we're watching this match. He's going to take his shot. Great hands by Daniel. Oh, did he uh -oh, slip? Uh-oh, Wayne's ankle. He's grabbing his ankle. Uh, he's shoot. grabbing his ankle. It looked like he just slipped there. I don't think I didn't see any contact. Right, I didn't either. Uh, okay. Hopefully he can just walk it off. What I would do and what I've done, I've had bad ankles in the past, is tie that shoestring tight. Yeah. Uh, don't loosen it. It keeps swelling down. So hopefully if yeah. he did roll it over, he'll tie that shoestring tight and uh, keep that swelling down. Yeah, Looks he like he's working it off. Yeah. No, oh, there's still, uh, yeah, they need the towel back again, Daniel. See some more on the court. Uh, tell me the score. 5-0. Five 5-0, zero. Five zero. all right. Quick start here. Yep, and Landa is the first server on this team, so... See if these guys can get back in there and, and uh, at least get a score or two, you know. Ooh. Oh, a rare miss. Yeah, Daniel was kind of floating over in there. And it just depended on where Bobby was taking that ball from. Good pass to the right. I agree with the call that yeah. Sarah had. Right, yeah. yep. I tell you, the Nick Lobs have been very effective for any of the players that have been doing here, as long as they're getting them deep and, and it's hitting the side wall. Yeah. We got a timeout. Yep. So we'll take a one minute break and we ba be My back name is when Jake uh, play Brenbeck, resumes. And I play with Gearbox. 
I personally love a solid frame. I just, I've always loved how Gearbox is felt and it's, there's no better frame on the market. My mindset in racquetball and in life, because I think sports and life just coincide, they're great representations of each other, is you have to work hard. Understand that there are going to be setbacks, but if it's something that you want, there's really no stopping you. And that's kind of how I live. I just go after what I want. We're back. Okay, back. we're back at the 2023 Golden State Open here in Pleasanton, California. A beautiful Bay Area racket and fitness club. A nice rollout by DLR. Yeah, from here it looked good. You know, they're questioning a little bit, but probably not too much. But you know, when it's 8-0, you kinda, you, you, you gotta ask, right? Yes. I thought it was good. I did, yeah, I did too. But I tell you, Wayne and Bobby really need to. Yeah, the, he's asking for a hinder. Um, Wayne didn't get to swing. He kind of jabbed at it. Um, I don't know. Wayne was kind of backtracking, you know, backpedaling. Yeah, Daniel was good with it. Let's just, just replay it. You know. Did he? Good. Yeah. Good. And I suppose, again, when it's 8-0, he's in a position to say, let's just replay it. Not, yeah, he, it, it just. You see where Daniel's at? Yeah. He's right in the middle of the court in the service box. If you're going to pinch, the ball better be down yeah. because he's sitting up there ready to pounce and on again, it. And again, he's just too good at that shot. Oh, yeah. He just can't do it, especially in doubles. Got to make sure it's down. All right. Now, Wayne and Bobby switch there on that last serve. So they've got a philosophy. That's straight in by Daniel. Now they switch back again. Yeah, Daniel's feeling no pressure. He's just wearing that left side out. Good shot by Bobby right corner. All right, they need to get on the board here. And uh, hopefully they can figure it out. 0-10. Well, there we go. And it starts with one, right? That's a good jam yeah. wrap serving mm -hmm. to the middle. Nicely yeah. done by Wayne. Uh, he'd like that back. I mean, the sure. jam, jam wraps wow. a really effective serve, and uh, these guys would probably be able to track it down, obviously, pretty quickly. But to throw it in and get some 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 different angles is really good. That's just not coming off the right? back. Right? It's such a good, yeah. So that's anything back there, difficult coming off the back wall. A crack serve. Okay, Bobby thought it, well, they're not arguing again. Bobby thought it was good, or did he call it an ace? I thought it was three, yep. I thought All right. It, yep, he did call it as an ace. That's okay. A, that's a crack ace, so we're at 10-3. Thank you. what he wanted to carry in the right front corner he just didn't get it down yeah and Bobby knew where it was going you know as soon as he made the mistake of leaving it up he knew he had to get up there to try and yeah cover the mistake because yeah. he just uh, again we but it, but say it we over and over Daniel's just too good at that as shot. we know he yes he loves that left corner so yeah, yeah. we're at 11-3 game two. Oh. <laughs> Behind the back by the Landa. 
Good shot by Wayne down the yep. right side, straight in and out. Yeah, you saw that little Landa had to scoot out there a little mm -hmm. bit. Wayne saw the opportunity, took it straight down the line. Nice shot. Good choice. Good behind the back by Wayne. Uh, just too much. It's a good pass. You know, it's the right height. Wayne, Wayne was crowding Landa, and Landa said, I'm not changing my shot. You want to get in front of me? I'm swinging full swing. Right. And he did that twice in a row. And they played tight racquetball, but it's all good. No harm, no foul. Right. That's skip ball. Yeah, just can't make those mistakes. and. We're at 13-3. Right, right in front of, right in front of uh, Daniel was Wayne and awarded a penalty hinder. I mean. And he just wants to discuss it with the ref, yep. which is uh, Alan Natera, right? They just want to talk. Most times it doesn't change the call, people. It just. I, uh, I think it was a penalty hinder. Well, like he took his shot right away from him. It, no, I do yep. agree. Yep. But it just, the you know, Wayne wants to talk and it's like you hardly ever see the ref go, oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're let never going to see let that. Let me change my mind. Yeah, it just unfortunately, it's a quick game and you got to do your best, make the best call you can at the time and, you know. It's tough, but I, I agree. And sometimes you mentioned playing tight racquetball, and when you do that, that's some of the risk you take. Good job, court coverage by them all. Little reset here with the seal. Oh, oh, nice shot. Oh, and and Bobby with the back behind the back, and Wayne good. puts it away. Those were some fun shots too, you know. And again, Daniel's smiling. They don't. They're in a very good position that they feel like they can do some of that. But these guys need to get something together. Get some points on the board. Another behind the back. Good tough. shot, Bobby. Yep, Good tough. court coverage. So when he was moving, he was coming in, and he had his racket already positioned behind him. So he came down on his knees and just straight through flat rollout. By There's Bobby. another Good point. Job. And they're still at their uh, first server. So, you know, putting some together here again. Not going away, not giving up by any means. There's another opportunity right here. Yeah, I would agree with that too. It's replay. Skip ball. Yep. Make a little, make a little run here at six fourteen. Kind of like we did in the first game. They just the gap's so much farther this time than on game one. Oh, uh, Bobby's gonna. You know, Daniel took a little something off of that, and then it kind of changed what Bobby had to do, and he ended up hitting it way behind him and. Probably looked like a beach ball to yeah. him, and <laughs> right? you know, he just dumped it into the ground. Uh. 
Colleen said there was body contact. I didn't see it, but uh, I don't know. Did you see it? I did see it. Okay. Um, I, I guess I was thinking Bobby thought he was taking the shot, which I know doesn't matter. They both need the opportunity, but I saw Wayne hit him, but I thought, you know what, Bobby's got it. He's going to take it, but they didn't. It, it, tough. Again, probably not going to change the call after it's been made. You can discuss, but especially with no line judges. This early in the in the rounds, we don't have any line judges. Uh, maybe it would have been a different outcome. And there we go. The case. So a nice uh, finish to it down to the right side. So uh, that is the game. Carrie, thanks for being on the broadcast today. The final game, 15-12, 15-6. And you know and what? Uh, it's been fun. Yeah. And uh, thanks for watching here on IRT Live. And we've got another game coming up for you in just a few minutes. So 15 minutes or so, we'll uh, send it back to Fabio and team. And we'll be back when we uh, the next match starts. On IRT, IRT Live. Live. a lot of matches when I was playing the WRT with the gearbox ball. It's a different ball than the other one. I think it's better for the game. It's durable. I think for fans it's gonna be more enjoyable. The rallies are gonna be a little longer. So it's gonna be fun.